Hey guys, what's going on? It's MeCal23 back with another video. And today, I'm going to be telling you guys how to unlock this 99 Jackie Robinson quick and easy. So yesterday, we had a big content drop, a lot of Father's Day themed content. We even have a Father's Day program where you can play as father and son duos in a bunch of separate moments to unlock a 93 Ken Griffey Sr., a Cabin Vigio, and a Ball and Pack. So some solid rewards in this program um, for sure. Definitely get on that. But the more challenging program is definitely the Jackie Robinson. If you've been keeping up, you'll start up on stage four. And if you haven't, I have my separate videos up on how to complete the other stages, so make sure to check those out. Links will be in the description for the playlist. But if you guys are on stage four, here is how to complete it. So first things first, gotta do the exchange. Gotta get that free plus 10. Um, if you guys have an inventory built up, it shouldn't be that hard. And just like that, you're already um, you know one fifth of the way there. Now, for the rest of these moments, um, you can approach this two different ways because I've seen it been done two different ways. You can either build a team specifically made for these three moments and try to do it in an all-star game against the CPU. Um, I know people who have done that. It's possible, but it's also extremely difficult. You're going to have to score a lot. You're going to have to almost play it flawlessly. The way I did it was to almost guarantee that I got it done um, just without worrying too much about being in a nine inning game. So. What I would do is I would make an entire team of second basemen, I would go to Coors Field, and then I would just keep replaying as the away team until I got the runs, and then I did the same thing. I built up a team of left fielders, Coors Field, got the hits, Coors Field, Dodgers, stole the bases. So that's what I did, and then I played the nine inning game with my god squad. Um, it's not the fastest method, but it's probably the most efficient. Um, if you want to do it the fastest way, you can do it where you build a team um, with all these components, but it's definitely more difficult to do it that way. And uh, once you do that, those are all the missions that you need to do, and the rest of it lies in his moments. Now, these moments are definitely not that bad, especially since you're using a really good Jackie Robinson. Get on base three times, tally four total bases, three hits, uh, win a game, and then win two games. Um, the only one I could see people maybe losing is this last one, just because you have to not let up two home runs. Just be careful that you're not letting up dingers to the pitchers. Or to the hitters and especially in these moments make sure you're scoring early i find a lot of the time in these three inning games people don't take the first two innings that seriously they just let the time pass they're like let's get through this and then it gets to the third inning and they're like i need to score and then they, maybe they don't score and then you have to play a couple extra innings that you probably didn't need or you, did, you didn't want to do right but that's probably it i mean it's not veteran uh the moments are not that bad and once you do that you have jackie robinson it's really not that hard of a grind it's essentially just takes time you know it's not that hard but once you do get there you're gonna get the 99 overall jackie robinson and he is a really really good card second base primary with first base third base and left field secondaries this card can play a lot of the positions on your team uh 125 vision 119 contact 122 contact 80 power 79 power i mean this is really really good he, he literally rivals craig biggio the al collection award this card is free so if you like Robinson Swing, definitely worth a try. This card really is going to be nasty. I mean, 95 speed, he, he could be deadly. Um, I don't know if I'm going to start him over Sandberg. It's it's close because I know I can prestige Sandberg. So I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll have to see how he plays online. Um, but yeah, guys, definitely a card that you have to get, especially if you're no money spent. I mean, this card is literally a free 99 just waiting to join your squad. Now, some quick tips, by the way, for the Father's Day moments, because I know some people didn't like them as much. Um, these moments can be kind of tough, and you just... I can get in people's head, because the way these moments work is you have to get a hit, you have to exit the game, and then you have to get another hit. So you just have to really focus with these moments, like, take them seriously, because you don't want to waste your time. It's, you know, even if you, like, the first, the first time you get up, you know, with Tony Gwynn, if you don't get a hit, you still have to exit out of the game and go back in. So definitely try to get these done ASAP. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of just getting extra base hits, getting hits and stuff. It's not too bad. And um, some people might ask this. I don't really know why, but in this moment, Derek, I am your father. It says record one put out. I never did, but it still gave me credit because I got two base hits. I, I don't know why that's there, um, but if you get two base hits, um, it should it should give you the mission credit. And that's simply it, guys. That is really all you got to do to complete Jackie Robinson. It's not that bad. Um, stage four is pretty simple, so if you guys are already caught up, you guys, it's just a matter of time until you get there. We also got a brand new conquest map for Father's Day. Um, not, not too hard of a map. You do have to steal four million fans, but besides that, you just have to conquer the map like usual. There are two ball and packs in this one, 
so definitely make sure you get do that even if you don't play the games just get the free ball and packs um definitely want to do that but um besides that that is uh the new conquest map and we also got a brand new elite tier ducks on the pond pack for 35,000 stubs you can risk the chance to go get one of these 99 overall cards um chapman uh ernie banks or joe adele also chapman's 97 my bad um but yeah these cards are insane these are cards that you really want on your team um i already have chapman i did buy him um uh, if i had to recommend something for you guys I i'd say just buy the card if you want one of them like i i know it seems good 35,000 stubs to potentially make like so like 100 like 100,000 more but it's just not worth it i feel like a one in ten chance you know it's just you know you got to hold off if you really want to be smart with your stubs especially if you still need to do collections if you still want to do other stuff like that don't buy them just buy the cards straight up um the game will reward you probably with some packs later anyway i mean like if you do all the content you are gonna have so many packs personally i, I packed alonzo walker bueller and matt kemp the headliners so i did get some stubs back um obviously kemp's price has dropped but still like i'll take the stubs for sure for sure so um just you know hold off hold off on buying the packs for right now unless you unless you know you have mantle and you have like a ton of stubs then go for it but just know the risk involved it's a one in ten chance the odds are low the brand new headliner is mike scott he's got a splitter fastball slider curveball so this card's solid he's got good pitch mix i think the issue with this card is going to line his velocity it's 71 he doesn't pitch that fast i think that's going to be the killer for this kind of card uh, i think people are going to be able to hit him um, i'm not sure how good he'll be but you know I, I don't know yet i haven't faced him but that is the biggest issue with this card that you can just see right there it's going to be his velocity and yeah guys that does it for this video hopefully this did help you out hopefully you guys can get, go get this 99 jackie robinson a debut video will be up very shortly most likely tomorrow but yeah if you guys want to see it make sure to drop a like down below and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out